Hello everyone. Let's provide a solution to this problem. Solution. We have x root x root x equal to 2. And we are looking for the value of x. Okay, now let's look. Um, I want us to use this method. It's a very fast method. Now, this x here is the same as x to the power of 1. Multiply by this is x to the power of 1 over 2. Because it is under 1 square root sign. Then, this is under 2 square root sign. So, we have x to the power of 1 over 2 times 1 over 2. 2 square root signs. This is equal to 2, right? Now, we have x to the power of 1 times x to the power of 1 over 2 times x to the power of 1 over 4 and this is equal to 2. Now let's apply one of the laws of indices that says if you have a to the power of um, b multiplied by a to the power of c. Now this is the same thing as a to the power of b plus c. What you do is to pick one of the bases as far as you know as long as they are the same thing and then you will add the powers so i'm going to do the same thing here and then add the powers the basis are x then i'll have 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4 and this is equal to 2 right now from here the base is x then the LCM of the power is 4. Then 4 times 1 is 4. Plus 4 divided by 2 is 2 times 1 is 2. Then 4 divided by 4 is 1 times 1 is 1. And this is now equal to 2, right? And do not forget that the whole of this is the power of x, right? Now, this means that our x is equal to 7, okay, x to the power of 7 over 4 is equal to 2. But what are we doing? We are looking for the value of x, right? So, we can say that to make x alone here, we will have to multiply the power here by its reciprocal. So we'll have x to the power of 7 over 4 multiplied by 4 over 7 because the reciprocal of 7 over 4 is 4 over 7. And now that I introduced the reciprocal, it has to reflect on the right. So we have 2 to the power of 4 over 7. Now this will go with this, this will go with this. And we now have our x to be equal to 2 to the power of 4 over 7. Now, I want us to do this in another way very quickly, right? Now, the original equation, this is what we got applying the first method. Let's get the second method. The second method. Okay, the equation is x square root of x square root of x being equal to 2. Now, square both sides so that we have this squared. And then here we have 2 squared. Because what you do on one side must be done on the second side. Okay, so what happens here is this. x squared will be here. We have x squared. Then this will go with this. Then we have x square root of x equal to 4. Now, if I multiply this, we'll have x to the power of 3 square root of x equal to 4, right? Now, the next thing has to be done, and it is to square both sides again. Square this. Now, x to the power 3 squared. You know, I have to multiply this. So, we have x to the power of 6 then this will cancel this as we have to multiply this by x and this will be equal to 16. Now there's something I want to explain from here. 
Now, if I multiply this, we'll have x to the power of um, 7, because this is the power of 1, and this is equal to 16. Now, I want to bring the two solutions I have from the two methods together. I did the same thing. Okay, so this is the value of s we had from the first method. And the second method is x to the power of 7 equal to 16. Oh, by the way, from here, we can still find the value of x, right? Because this is not x yet, okay? So x to the power of 7. To remove this 7, multiply by its reciprocal. That's 1 over 7. And that will be equal to 16. Then power of 1 over 7 will still reflect. This goes with this. And then our x will be equal to 16 to the power of 1 over 7. So this is what we have from the second method. Now let me bring the two values together. The first is x equal to 2 to the power of 4 over 7. Then the second is x equal to 16 to the power of 1 over 7. And do you know that somebody will be thinking that these two values are not the same thing? And that will not be correct because these two values are the same. If I want to get this done, let me work on the first um, solution there, the first method. Okay, from here, our x will be equal to, look at 2 over there, it comes here, then to the power of 4, let's have this in bracket, then pick out 1 over 7. Okay, trust me, if you multiply this, you will still have this back, right? So our x here is 16, because 2 to the power of 4 is 16, then to the power of 1 over 7. So you can see that the first method and the second method are giving us the same value. Okay, so thank you for watching. If you love this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and share this video to more of your friends.